Now hang on. Before the video starts, over 80% of people who watch our videos are not subscribed. So, if you enjoy our content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Go on, do it now. Okay, so we're going to have a look at a gun. And this is our most popular way of taking fish. So we've got some simple things here. We're just going to name some of the parts, get you used to it. This is the shaft. That's the flopper or barbed. It's held in the gun or to the gun by that there. That is the shooting line or people often call it the mono. All right, this is the power band. People will call this the rubber. Okay, this is your muzzle. The muzzle is this end here. See that there? All right, that's your muzzle. And you see this here, there's a bungee here. That's your muzzle bungee. Simple, muzzle bungee. Okay, there's your barrel. Now this is a rail gun. So you can see the spear sits on a rail down the complete length of the barrel. This is an accuracy thing. It'll, it's supported the entire shot out, so it's uh, gonna be more accurate. Okay, got the loading butt, got a safety, handle, trigger, simple, you got all that. Shark clip, okay. And this here, that's to put a mounted reel on. This is your mounting, real mounting bracket. This, that is what a gun's made of. So when you're talking about shooting line, you say shooting line. Don't talk about that thing that's joined to the spear. Okay, get the idea? You learn the terms, you know. The power band, the muzzle bungee, the barrel, the rail. Handle, that's the handle. Muzzle bungee, safety, trigger, there you go. Okay, let's put this back together again. So, probably at this point in time, uh, it's good to show you that uh, once you've shot the fish or once you've shot the gun, this will float in the water. This is your gun, it'll float like that in the water. If it's not floating, it's not good. You need to have it floating. Once the shaft is out, it needs to float. When the shaft's in, it can be slightly negative, it'll slightly sink, okay? And that works out fine. Okay, so then, once you've shot the gun, you've handled the fish or not, uh, you now have a look at this uh, shaft here. You've got a top, and the top has the notches in it, and it has the shaved section at the back. Gives you an idea where the top is. So you bring this crimp, and there's your crimp there on your shooting line, over the top. Now you put that on the top before you put it in the gun, and the reason you put it on the top, because if you had the line on the bottom and you put it into the gun, then the shaft is gonna come out of the gun on top of the mono, and that'll hurt the mono. That will damage the mono, rendering it uh, weak. So here we go, we put the crimp and the line on top, hold the spear like so, this is floating in the water like so, floating like that. And you put this in here. Now this muzzle here is called a closed muzzle. It's completely encircles the shaft. It's easy to do once you put it in there. It doesn't matter if the wave is washing around you. It doesn't wash it out. All right, I, you know, move the rubber out of the way. Hold the shaft in the rail with my thumb and just slide it down like so. It goes down, clicks in here. It will have a bit of movement if it's clicked in right. Okay, here's the uh, line connecting it. This bit of plastic here is just a little bit of packing. We don't worry about that. We'll just get it out of the way for the moment. Okay, here's your shooting line. It comes out of the muzzle there on the front there. And it goes around here. You could go straight there, but if the line's loaded, if the, if the rubber's loaded, it'll slide off. So we just wrap it on that side there. And then pull it down, holding the tension on it, pull it down to your line release. That silver thing down the bottom here, this is your line release. It lets the line go when you pull your trigger. You've got a muzzle bungee here, so it makes it easy. 
just stretch it there, hooks it onto the line release. Okay, it's ready to load. Okay, so we are uh, loading a gun outside of the water is a dangerous practice and it's not dangerous because someone's going to shoot someone or something with it it's dangerous because there's a lot of force going on and i'll just show you a couple of things about it so but let's have a look at the system grab a rubber like this now the rubbers you see how that bridle is short you can get your hand on that with a bit of rubber out of both sides and it means you get an even pull if i was to grab this side it's quite likely pull the rubber in becomes uneven. Now I've got to grab the other side to even it up to, to pull it straight. So rather than do that and mess around in the water with, uh, with that, we just grab it here, got gloves on, bit of rubber out that side, bit of rubber out that side. Okay, now there's a system in this. And your system is, is you've got to load it on your chest to actually load this down here. You load it to the point it gets to about here and all of a sudden you struggling to find the muscle power to bring it down to these notches. So it's no good loading it on your leg. Some people hook it into their belt. You can, it's a bit tougher still, but we see all our modern wetsuits have loading pads, okay? And that's purpose built for these modern European style guns with the handle. Okay, so if you hold the gun here, as I've got the rubber, we've shown you that, I've got the rubber there and put your hand on the back end. So rather than have your thumb around the trigger like that there, we actually get that out of the way and just have your hand like this. Now we're going to stretch this rubber a bit. Now this works, this is a meter long gun, but this works with a, uh, a 1 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 1.6. You stretch the rubber while you're holding it, like so. And then you push it a little bit past where you're gonna put it in your chest and you move your body onto it. If you, do this, push it up here, and then you try and move the gun around here. It actually, you're swinging a gun around, but it also is a bit of a struggle on your, on your chest. So you're better off, you're in the water, you like this, move it up here, move your body onto the top of it. Now you can actually bring it here, hold it there, and pull it there. See, this is, you've got the power to do that. Now, where you run into trouble loading in a shop or in a home or something like that, is it is possible that you go to load it and it skews off your chest. This has the habit of getting this gun going down there up into here and it has happened a few times in Australia where the spear has gone into the guy's thumb. Just from skewing off the chest, going down here, up here and then straight into there. So even, uh, you know, if you had a protection on, you're gonna be a bit protected, but if it was unprotected, you got a problem. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. You can check out more content on our YouTube channel. Visit one of our stores and shop online at www.spearfishing.com.au.